Hey guys, Shunty Phillips here with a little quick trailer reaction, or let's say a clip reaction to Pee Wee's Big Holiday, the Pee Wee's Big Holiday clip that uh, Netflix put up, you know, announcing the, the date of the, you know, premiere of it. It's going to be on March on Netflix. So it's going to be a Netflix exclusive movie. And to me, I don't mind at all that, they're, that they've done this as a Netflix exclusive movie. Because, I mean, I, hopefully down the line there'll be a DVD and a Blu-ray, you know, with features and stuff like that. Because I would love to see that kind of stuff as well. But to me, you know, Paul Rubens has for years, you know, I remember years and years back, he was always going on uh, talk shows and things like that saying, yeah, uh, Pee Wee movies are in the works and, you know, it may, it's probably going to be shooting this year. And it, he kind of did that for years and years. And even though it really wasn't in the works, it was kind of like he did that to always kind of bring attention to the film and always kind of, you know, keep it always out there and kind of hope that it would happen. And then, like, a couple of years ago, it, you know, started up again a lot when Paul Rubens came back and it was a lot of stuff him saying, yeah, it really is looking like it's going to work and now it finally has happened. It's finally going to be on Netflix. And to me, the clip looks great. Like, it looks like, to me, a total throwback and I like, too, that he has, like, a new, you know, way of getting woken up from the bed and things like that. I like that it's gone back to that and it looks like it's going to have a lot of the kind of machines and weird kind of stuff in his house and stuff like that. So I definitely... I'm excited to see that, and I'm excited, too, to see who comes back in this and who does cameos from the series and stuff. To me, that's going to be the coolest thing, and just see the whole vibe of it, because to me, Pee Wee's Big Adventure has always been and always will be my, pretty much my top favorite movie of all time. I've loved that movie ever since I was a little kid. I actually pretty much learned to talk, <laughs> to be honest with you, from watching uh, you know, Pee Wee on TV. You know, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Like I watched that show as a very, very little kid. I remember, you know, when it was ended in 1991, how like upsetting I was. You know, it was that it was over. You know, always hoping that one day he would come back. Cause like to me, when it came to like series, like uh, my top ones of all time of like characters have always been like Mr. Bean, uh, Ernest, and Pee Wee. But to me, Pee Wee was always like the top one to me. Like I always kind of relate to his strangeness, and I'm always a very strange person myself. <laughs> so I always loved Pee Wee and loved everything about it. I even as a kid had a Pee Wee in person there come to my party. And he wasn't really a great Pee Wee impersonator at all. Like, looking back at the pictures of it, but someone actually dressed like Pee Wee and came to my party when I was, I think it was like five years old or something, and he gave me a magic screen toy, which I remember at the time was kind of like a hard one to find, you know. So, so I always remember him, like, this Pee Wee impersonator giving me this magic screen toy. And, like, I think as a kid, too, I was, like, convinced that that was Pee Wee. And I'm thinking, like, I don't know why I was so convinced. Like I said, he really did not look that much like Pee Wee. But for some reason, I was, like, convinced of it, that it was him. Just like I had someone as a kid as well dressed like one of the Ninja Turtles. And the guy's nuts were actually hanging out of the costume. And I, I, I didn't notice that. My dad was always telling me about that later. He's like, yeah, that guy's balls were hanging out of the costume. So I'm like, I, didn't, I did not notice that when that guy dressed like the turtle did that. I don't have pictures of that, though. But I don't know. Anyway, though, guys, I would love to hear what you guys think of this Pee Wee's, you know, the clip that's up. I can't wait, too, for the full trailer or whenever they release the complete trailer. But it's because, you know, Netflix kind of does, like, these quick little teasers like they've done for Fuller House. Like, those quick little, like, tiny little 30-second things just to really tease the, the movie or the TV show and things like that. But to me, like I said, I like the Netflix Movies like I actually liked The Ridiculous Six, or I thought that that was actually had really good production value. So Netflix is actually, from what I can see, giving these movies a really decent budget to work with. I know Judd Apatow produced this one, you know, for Netflix. So it should have a really pretty good production values. Like I said, though, I do hope, though, there'll be a DVD and a Blu-ray so we get features and stuff like that and I can put on the shelf, you know, as well. But anyway, though, like I said, guys, I would love to hear what you guys think of this trailer. I, I am really excited about this. I can't wait for March. It's, like, going to be, like, one of the big things I'm looking forward to. I'll definitely do a review of it as well when it's up. Anyway, though, guys, thanks again for watching, subscribing, and definitely look forward, like I said, to hear what you guys think of this teaser and if you guys are going to be checking out, you know, Pee Wee's Big Hottie. Thanks again for watching, subscribing. I'll see you guys later.